okay let's go to question number nine okay question number nine says that when one mole of iron reacts with one mole of red iron oxide it in convenient conditions of three mole of what are formed okay do you think what here we want to get three mole of what will be formed here we have a convenient conditions red red iron oxide it will form it will form iron to oxide only okay it will form iron to oxide another question question number 10 we have here the product of reaction of iron with nitric acid depend on the reaction temperature and the concentration of acid as shown in the following here we have iron plus 4 HNO3 it will give what it will give X plus 2H2 plus NO and iron plus, plus 6HNO3 it will give Y plus 3H2O plus 3NO2 another one 2Fe plus 6HNO3 it will give Z plus 3H2 here we have what is the concentration of acid in each reaction and what is the oxidation number of iron in iron nitrate salts X, Y and Z here we have acid concentration in reaction 1 will be diluted and iron oxidation number in salt X will be plus 2 this is the first choice A acid concentration in the reaction 2 will be diluted iron oxidation number in salt Y will be plus 3 acid concentration in reaction 3 concentrated and iron oxide number in salt Z will be plus 2 do you think that all choices depend on the concentration and ions okay do you think it's easy here to know that all the concentration that will re react or make reaction with acid will be diluted without any thinking okay the first choice here we have diluted in each concentration in each reaction in each reaction here we have diluted concentration of acid that use and also here we have in X what happened we have iron 3 oxide or oxidation state in salt X will be what will be 3 and in also in salt Y here the product as it reacts with nitric acid only here by a small amount as here we have one mole of iron reacts with four moles of nitric and the second one one mole of iron reacts with six moles of nitric and also we, if we have two moles of iron then reacts with six mole of nitric acid it will give number Z or salt Z and the here we have the answer will be each one all of them x y and z all of them have oxidation state or oxidation number will be plus three and in all cases the acid will be diluted okay i think it's easy question and very important let's go to question number 11. okay question number 11 says that the substance produced from the reaction of iron with sulfur can be obtained from the reaction of here we have iron to oxide with hydrogen sulfide gas iron to oxide with sulfur and the third one iron three oxide with hydrogen sulfide gas and number four iron three oxide with sulfur okay here we have if we want to concentrate or make reaction of iron with sulfur here we have none metal reacts with it so it will make hydrogen sulfide gas evolves with pungent smell or very high smell and iron to oxide will be formed okay let's go to question number 12 here we have when sulfur trioxide gas reacts with iron to oxide the salt X is formed which is thermally decomposed from iron 3 oxide what is the chemical formula of the salt X okay 
here we have the product after composing two or after thermal decomposition it will give iron 3 oxide this means that we have iron FeSO4 okay by oxidation it will make oxidation state here will be 3 or forming after thermal decomposition forming iron 3 oxide okay another question let's go to question okay question number 13 says that on heating iron 3 oxalate in air okay I think it's the second time that we have the same question on heating iron 2 oxalate in air what will be produced okay here we have the right answer will be iron 3 oxide it is a preparation of or we get due to heating we get iron 3 oxide okay we get what we get iron 3 oxide question number 14 on heating iron 2 oxalate in the absence of air then treating the produced solid substance by diluted sulfuric acid what will be formed here okay at first we have iron oxalate the first one treating substance with sulfuric acid what will be formed we have here some questions that repeated also for the second time we have here iron 2 sulfate and water we have here iron 2 sulfate and water okay here we have iron or oxalate iron oxalate in absence of air okay if we form it, it or can be added to sulfuric acid diluted okay it will make iron to sulfate and what and water the last question of our lesson today iron 3 oxide can be obtained by heating these compounds strongly in absence of air except okay we said before that we have iron to oxalate okay except what which of them that we can't be get iron 3 oxide okay which of one will not get iron 3 oxide here we have here iron 2 oxalate iron 2 oxalate make iron 3 oxide at the end not forming not forming iron 3 oxide at the end of reaction here we have this exception one iron 2 oxalate okay this is the last question of our chapter transition element i hope you will going to our end okay thank you for listening i hope you enjoy this part of question chapter one okay we are going to solve a lot of questions of egyptian knowledge bank okay wait for us for this one and i hope you enjoy this part we are going to chapter two chemical analysis thank you for joining us